Hello friends, I'm Colonel Fay. This is Get Back to Work, a series in which I get back to work on work sims that I've been playing previously. This is Taurus Bus Simulator, and that uh, horrendous noise you're hearing is the uh, the master alarm. I honestly couldn't tell you what the problem was. I've I've found all manner of buttons, which is a ruddy delight. Uh, I mean, I found my uh, found my air ride, yeah, which is which is top weasel. Um, but no, can I get it to... Oh, that's nice. Yeah, blow that straight in me noggin, would you? Terrific. No, I can't find any way to shut it off. So uh, we're just going to have to... We're just going to have to suck it up for a bit. Um, I've turned it off. I've turned it back on again. No, no, no. Nothing's working. Anyway, we've got a fresh topic to talk about today. And I'm going to talk about it. And I'll mute the game while I do so. Until such a time as I take it to the repair shop to repair it. Which is the only thing I can assume could still be wrong with it. Great. Right, today's question comes from Steve Morrie. Yeah, real one. The real Steve Morrie. After whom Steve Morrie, who you may have heard of, was named. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll tell you what his question was in a moment. Let's just get out of this garage. Uh, yeah. Because if you if you recall, I was at the end of the last S... No, no, brakes. There you go. At the end of the last S... Stop. <laughs> so you say. Uh, at the end of the last escapade, I just filled up with fuel. Which is nice. Uh, did it make the alarm go off? No, no, the alarm's still the alarm's still going. I bumped into something there, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, right, forwards. Yeah, let's get out of here. Anyway, let's get back on task. Good. Right. Anyway, OG Steve Morrie uh, has... Uh, has oh no, I'll tell you what, I'll get to the bus stop and I'll read it, because he's written a reasonably long message. And uh, and that's that's all That's all good. It's a good one. It's a good It's an interesting one. I don't know where I'm going to go with it, but it'll be, won't it be fun to find out? Uh, you don't know what the topic is yet, do you? So you've no idea whether it'll be fun to find out or not. But uh, that's the way we like to do these things. And I think one of the reasons that it's fun to find these things out is because uh, when I, that'll, be, that'll be my passage waiting there. Oh, yeah. Get out to get some petrol, lads. Uh, forgive the noise. Uh, don't know what's causing it. I honestly couldn't tell you. Right, there we go. Stick the... Uh, no, that's reverse one. No, neutral. Handbrake. Good. Look over here. I actually prefer doing it this. I think I found out what the buttons were not so long ago, but I'm enjoying this. Yeah, that's good. Rear doors open. That's good too. Look outside. Smiling people. Everywhere you look. Smiling people. Right, Steve says, Hello, Colonel. Hey, I, uh, I am Steve Murray, and contrary to channel law, I am not a washed up baseball player. Steve Murray's having the best baseball season he's ever had. Best season ever ever for Steve Murray. I am in fact a rather chubby 14 stone 47 year old bus driver. 14 stone? You lightweight. Try 20. Uh, uh, I'm uh, currently in a position where I can comfortably afford the installation of a walk-in bath or shower. Now, the sort of thing usually advertised for the elderly and infirm. Should I, pun intended, take the plunge or should I wait for my already creaking bones to start to be picked up on the Richter scale? Uh, if you could answer this along with perhaps covering some other so-called elderly friendly devices. What do you think I know about elderly friendly devices? I'm not flipping elderly. I'm uh, I'm mature. There's a difference. Uh, right, close some stuff. There you go. Get that closed. Get this closed. Now, see, because I was fairly certain, you know, that... Uh, oh, I, I, I plumbed in some more stuff as well. I plumbed that in. That's not working. Maybe you have to get back into this. I plumbed this in. Look left. Look right. Didn't work. No. Does this one work? Yes. There you go. I can swap to from first to third person now. You're welcome. Um, right. Okay. Handbrake off. Yeah. Slap it in first. Let's uh, let's get to work. Uh, right. Okay. Well, first off, let's let's talk about the merits of a good shower slash bath combo. Now. Uh, been looking at some overhaulage of a couple of the bathrooms in this establishment uh, that I currently reside. Uh, I've got a, uh, I've got an ensuite bathroom shower combo. Yeah, incidentally, bathroom in this country uh, doesn't have to have a bath in it. No, that's just a, that's just a thing. It's, it, it equally means restroom. Uh, I, I always translate for the Americans because uh, they share a language. And they get it wrong in places, so you know I like to help. Um, 
uh, and uh, yes, I've got a, I've got a walk in uh, a walk in uh, ensuite bathroom which has a shower, but uh, it's obviously decades old and it is ratty as anything. But the shower's great, so you put up with it being a smidge on the ratty side, and just going no 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 it's okay we'll we'll fix it up at some point. No amount of cleaning makes it actually clean because uh, we're in a hard water area as well. Which means that the shower screen that's on there, you might as well not bother cleaning it. I have cleaned it thoroughly. I've got a, a, a cleany scrubber drill brush head that goes on my drill. I've cleaned it using a power drill uh, in order to get it relatively clean. And even though it's not 100% clean, and even then it's fogged back up again and covered in flipping lime scale and flip calcium deposits in a matter of days. It is it's just not worth the effort doing. I'd be better off investing in a water softener, uh, but that's a different story. Anyway, I would. Uh, the plan was uh, was going to be turn it into a wet room so we could do away with the screen, uh, but tile the floor correctly because it's got carpet in there as well. Who has a shower room with a carpet in? Well, people who decorate in the decades gone by. It's got to be at least 20, 30 years since it was uh, since it was done which is why it is utterly, utterly ridiculous. Still, it's a lovely thing to have. We've also got a main bathroom, which has a, uh, which is a good size, and it's got your sink and the toilet and a bathtub, which nobody ever uses apart from the spiders. And um, because we are surrounded by, uh, uh, by some countryside hither and yon, uh, we, do, we do encounter the spiders a lot. And I'm fine with the spiders, because uh, they mean that you don't have quite so many of the other insects because uh, they eat them all, which makes more spiders. But it means fewer of the insects as a result. And so it's a, you know, I have a deal with the spiders. I don't care how big they are. And if they want to hang out in the bathtub, well, no one else is using it. So uh, so the thinking was we get the, uh, the en suite turned into, uh, uh, turned into a wet room and uh and the, the main no that's the indicators you clown uh you want that one there you go no neutral neutral handbrake good doors yeah activate open sesame thank you groovy press the button that takes you outside ah super yeah, yeah it's all good it's all it's all good um yeah, and meanwhile, turn the main bathroom, get a shower put in there. Now, I was going like, well, rip the bathtub out. Who in this age actually needs a flipping bathtub? What a waste of time. What a total waste of time. Um, uh, and it was my father-in-law who said like, well, if you're a family with young kids, I went, oh, flipping heck, don't even bother finishing the sentence because obviously young kids need a bathtub. Um, and you go, all right, yeah, okay, you had me at hello. Uh, and he also then carried on and explained that old people like bathtubs and other people like bathtubs. And if you're in the middle of a, you know, some kind of drama movie type deal, sometimes you've got to call someone down for some reason. And they always do it in a bathtub with about 2,000 kilos of ice that they've just been able to magic out of thin air. Don't know where they get the ice from, but they manage to magic it out of thin air anyway. And that's jolly convenient for bringing someone's core temperature down when they've been jacked in for too long. Or whatever they've been doing. Um, <clears throat> yes. So, uh, so yeah. Instead, we opted for the L-shaped bathtub. Oh, yes. Uh, and it's not... Well, yeah, yeah, I suppose it is a proper L-shape. Um, in that, at the, at the L's foot end, uh, you, have, uh, you have a shower built in there, so you've got plenty of room. Uh, but then you still have a full bathtub, which means for the young families and for the people who like a bath in the house... There's still a bath in the house. Uh, so that's the plan on that front. Now, what it doesn't have, the ones we were looking at anyway, the, what, it, what it doesn't have is the swing door on the bath to get in and out. Now, I'm sure they're perfectly reliable, but for my money, nothing says this is going to leak more than having a, a door on the bath bit that's supposed to hold the water. That, to me, just says, like, now that seal's going to go, mate. Um, yeah, so you just that's you, that's never going to work. Or you inadvertently move your knee while in the bath, hit the door, water goes flooding out. Now I'm sure there's all kinds of safety measures against that kind of behaviour, but at the same time, 
Oh, I trust it. It's the same as I don't trust silicon stuff in the uh, in the oven. I go, no, that's going to melt. I'll have a I'll have a silicon ice cube tray, no problem at all. That's fine, stick it in the freezer. Uh, but stick silicon in the oven? Are you mad? No, no, that's wrong. But then I I've never fully embraced the microwave as anything other than a heating device uh, for uh, for cooking properly. Can't trust a microwave. No, it's just wrong. I the, the the number of times that I would eye suspiciously a bowl of peas that were frozen that herself would be hauling out in the microwave. Um, she'd put them in a bowl of water, stick the bowl of water in the microwave, and uh, and then bring them out after 45 seconds or whatever, and the peas would be good to go. And I'd be going, it's f***ing sorcery. <laughs> you can't say that. Oh, better remember to edit this. <laughs> Because that's exactly what I'd say. Sorry, my self-censorship let me down. But that's exactly what I'd say. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, dear. What's the matter with you? Oh, many things. Many things. Um, oh, that's funny. Uh, yeah, but it is. Microwaves are sorcery. Uh, how do we get onto microwaves alongside? Oh, no, it's the same kind of sorcery that goes into a uh, a bathtub that has a door attached to it. Look, Steve, if you if you feel good about having a door attached to your bathtub, then go for it. Personally, I would not trust it. No, that would have me that would have me giving it the de the de devil eyes. Just going. No, no, nobody's to use the bathtub. It's got a door. Uh, however. <clears throat> Let us talk about other uh, devices that are good for old people. Let's go with the chair, the uh, the comfy chair, your big chair where you push a button and it eases you back out of it. For uh, for, for people who are mobility impaired, uh, you know, it can still get about on their legs, but neither easing in and out of uh, out of the big chair. I see that as being magical. And frankly, if you're 47 and mobility impaired for whatever reason, I mean, if you've been a bus driver as your career, then you'll have been sat down for a couple of tens of thousands of hours. And as such, your spine is probably completely ruined, uh, notwithstanding your svelte 14 stone. Um, your spine is probably an absolute disaster area. Uh, go see a go see an osteopath and see what they have to say. I imagine you've probably done this already. This is not advice you need from me, uh, but I would advocate for go and see an osteopath. Uh, they'll give it a shove. It will it will not necessarily be the most comfortable thing in the world, uh, but they'll be able to go. Oh yeah, your uh, seventh and eighth disc vertebrae uh, infusions are uh, a totally uh, skew whiff. I bet that hurts, doesn't it? And you'll go. Yeah, thanks very much. Here's your forty quid. Um, yeah, come on, passons, get off, and then we finish this. Uh, we finish this gig. Come on, come on, off you get, off you get. That's it. No, there's no rush. I'm just going to go to the workshop and see if they can figure out how to make this alarm switch off. Otherwise, I'm going to get under the bonnet if I can find it, and I'm going to rip the fuse out. I've done that before. Yeah, something not working. Pro. I had a, I had a Peugeot 306 XRDT, and it was absolutely ruddy brilliant. It was incredibly fast. But being a French car, of course, I think I've told you this story before, but you might not have heard it, so I'm going to tell it again. No passenger has been left at a stop. Leave no passage behind. That's what we say. Uh, right, close up the doors. Let's get to the chuffing garage and see if they can fix this for me. I think it's the you've done over 50% damage to your buzz. I'm hoping that's the case. Uh, right, let's... Uh, it's up here somewhere. Is it? I didn't think it was this far. I think it is this far. Oh, it's there. Look, right, it's right next to the spray shop. Right, let's go there. Yep. Repair shop, please. And don't give me any flannel when I get there. Fix it. <clears throat> right, good. Uh, brake on, handbrake off. And uh, activate the turbos. Let's go. Hold on, what? No, it is still going. <laughs> I've got the volume turned dead low. Uh, I have treated you to having no volume at all. Purely, purely because I'll get the complaints and they will be 100% justified. Um, right, good cornering uh, ish. Yeah, good if dangerous cornering. What's that? Lamppost, that's fine. 
Um, uh, yeah, so uh, one of those seats that ease you out of it. I, I can get on board with that. It's all about what you need versus what you think you need. Now, the, the obvious uh, elderly person's mobility in assisting device for the house would be the classic Stanner stair lift. Oh, yeah. Well, frankly, Steve, I think one of the things that's going to help keep you mobile is to keep doing mobile things. Uh, the one thing I do know is the more exercise you get, the more exercise you're capable of. Uh, now, that's just me. Oh, flipping idiot. Don't pull halfway onto the roundabout and then stop like some kind of dipstick. Just commit. Right? Just, if you're going to go, go. Don't stop. I said, he's signalling to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the signal's come off at this exit. You prat. Um, right. Good. Yeah, no, we're on route. It's all good. Um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the Stana stair lift. I don't think you're ready for a Stana stair lift. Uh, but obviously, I, I have no idea what you are and aren't capable of. Um... Uh, the one thing I will say, and this is this is a well, this is one of ourselves things, uh, is that uh, whenever we because we spent an awful lot of time renting rather than owning a house, it's only in the last eighteen months that we've actually owned a place. Um, before that, we always rented, and we we uh, we we had a tendency to rent bungalows, single story house. Okay, they're probably not called bungalows in the US. They're probably called like flak jats or some old business uh but whatever they're called uh bungalows now the reason to go for a bungalow you might go oh it doesn't have stairs and therefore you can get about more easily and you're going to go that's one reason to have one the second reason is you got a huge footprint just a huge footprint the size of the rooms in a bungalow is significantly larger than you would get in uh in even a good size uh, semi or uh, or you know or fully detached house um, you get a heck of a lot of ground space in a bungalow your mileage is going to vary obviously but on a typical basis the bungalows we're going to see they were much much bigger uh, than a lot of the semi detached places that we'd see uh, and that's that's reason alone to go get it not to mention the fact of course that they're uh, they always tend to be in demand because um, people get older and go I can't do stairs anymore and uh, and there's that so should you be investing in old person stuff i don't think you should think about it as old person stuff i think that there are always two things to think about when you're doing any kind of home-based refurbishment <laughs> uh is uh what are the two things the number one thing is uh, is this more practical than the solution i have right now and that can be a better shower in the case of my uh, of my ensuite uh, is it going to be slightly less ratty than what I'm having to put up with at the moment? That's the that's the only reason to do it. Slightly less ratty, please. Because every change that I'm looking to make to this place now is all about investing more value in it. I'm really I'm really quite straightforward. And in a couple of years' time, I won't need this house because it will just be me rattling around in it. Uh, and instead, I shall get something that is a little bit more compact, bijou and quirky rather than a standard house although i do love this house it is a is a really good house once i finish transforming the guards i know exactly what i'm building in the guards and many of you have been saying like model railway garden garden railway i'm going no i'm not going to build a garden railway i've got a much better idea much needs some experimentation and i'm looking forward to doing it uh but no much better idea but everything that i do to this house has to be with one eye on investing uh in creating more value uh, so that when I flog it, I can buy a place outright and have a have a chunk of change left over to ensure that my Herberts have got something to show for uh, for me popping my clogs at some point, uh, which will happen at some point. Yeah, I uh, I have I've yet to see any evidence of of my own immortality, but you know I remain to be convinced. It's a separate topic, of course. Would I choose to be uploaded to some kind of construct? given a choice and kind of go oh that's really complicated and i could spend a good half an hour talking about that shame no one's put that request in ready to be answered in about a month's time um good oh i see you drop your bus off and you just take one that looks just like it oh, i love it right where do you want me to park that looks like a spray shop where 
do you want me in order to figure out why this bus is making such an infernal racket? If the infernal racket is the price that I am paying for driving like a loon, I will drive more sensibly in future because I don't like the infernal racket. Right, let's back her up. Flaming force, flaming feet, but what's that? Is that up or that's up? Don't want up, want down. Uh, yeah. Yeah, up, not down. For down is the devil. Roll like a boulder and not like a pebble. Yeah, there you go. I'm not entirely sure what that's from. I think it's a Tribe Called Quest. Is it? Okay. Cooey! I'm coming in! Right, there we go. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice bit of driving. Okay, tell me. I don't have an appointment. I don't need an appointment. You just let me in. Oh, you. Fine, I'm going to make an appointment. All right, workshop. Work, workshop. Yeah, for the man's line, which is at 50%. It needs a tyre change, which is fine. Needs a V-belt change, which it's needed for ages. And I don't see why that would be a real a, a problem. The toilet's fine. I don't have any available workshop stuff. I don't want any... Of, I want to walk in here and get it flipping fixed up now prontissimo uh external repair toilet yeah yeah body damage fix it your workshop appointment is a 15 is a, uh, don't be there later than 1300 when on the 15th that's in two days time i can't ride a bus that is making that kind of noise for two chuffing days it's already in the external workshop it isn't Unless it is. Is it? I don't know. Okay. Just. Well, it's in there now. But if I were to do this, I can leave. Hmm. That's really mysterious. Um, good. Yeah, uh, so so when it comes to, you know, would I, would I switch to just having a, a shower in the main bathroom? Yeah, I would. But in terms of will that help its profitability when I come to sell it, uh, no, it will not. And therefore, brakes are a little bit off. They are a little bit off. You're not wrong. Uh, and therefore, I shall, uh, I shall do just that. I don't know what I'm doing. That much is very obvious. Okay, I don't need credit. I just need you to fix the chuffing bus. I don't mind booking an appointment. It's already in the external workshop. It isn't, though. It's not. It's not in there. I've got to be here by one on Friday. It's no Saturday. Ah, oh, no. That's that's the busiest day of the week. I don't know anything. I mean, Colonel Failure, Steve. A good question, and the the answer is relatively straightforward. Get what makes your life better that is affordable and that frankly invests some value in the property that you've got. Uh, if you plan on staying in the property that you've got for multiple decades, that works too. Go for your life, get what you like, and then change it later when you can be bothered. All right, get a door open. I'm going, I'm leaving. Stuff you, bus. I've got more videos to do, you know, in this bus. I have, and I can't do it while it's making that racket. Yeah, info, yes. I'm going to speak to life's manager. Yeah. Are you open? Come here. I'm in Colonel Failure. If you want one of these, head yourself to wizio.com slash colonel underscore failure. Put in your request. Pay your $25 and wait for me to make the video. It's relatively simple. You pick the game. You pick the topic. The game is chosen from a list. Yeah, the topic is chosen from your head. Everything else is chosen by me in colour, occasionally, and sometimes with sound as well. I'm going to peer awkwardly at this. Oh, I can open this window by just walking into it. Well, that's jolly exciting. Yeah, can I walk into the pit? Oh, good. I'm like quite a mass. Jolly good. I'll catch up with you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheerio!